very well. I'm on it. It is good to dwell on the past from time to time. I could have sworn... Could have sworn Flora heals an aching soul. And arrived. We've never been here before, have we? <laughs> Her life is tied to yours. You have a life within you now. A life? She lives on inside you. Her life is tied to yours. Near. Say it for me now. Address me as... Father. Yes. Father. My lady! My lady! Hmm? Are you all right? Nia! Hey! You don't look so steady. Careful. Fall down there, you'll never hit the bottom. <laughs> you must be sick of saving me by now. Huh? Don't be silly. Don't push yourself. You can rest up a little longer. It's even tougher for you, though. I'm telling you, I'm fine. After my sister died, it wasn't long before my dad died, too. Huh? I'm finishing my story. True Mark was all I had left to remember him. We started wandering together. 
Or maybe I should say Ronen. Ronin? From who? People your dad owed money to? No. From the Praetorium. Uh, well, why? Well, it's a long story. Get the cannibal! Capture that flesh-eating blade! against us. There was nothing we could do but stay on the run. Taking each day as it came. Just thankful for each sunrise. Praying we'd see another. Whew. Then I met Jin. He... He took me in. So that's why you and Jin... In Jin, I saw a way out, you know? I didn't see a future for myself on my own, so I threw my lot in with him. But... I can't see it. What? You're not the kind of person to worry about stuff like that. Well, I wasn't worried as such. So, anyway, why the story? I don't know. I was just rambling. Look, I don't know what's burning you, Nia, but... You shouldn't be afraid. Afraid? Of whatever it is. Stay true to your feelings, even if it means fighting tooth and claw. That's who you are, right? What the hell? I'm not some violent goon. I think you know what I mean. What the...? <laughs> there we go. That's the Nia I know. The Nia... You know. Not far now. Let's get going. Rex. This is for a just cause. Let's clear this up quick. Opening protocol engaged. I'm on it. It is good to dwell on the past from time to time. seal. It's the same as the one on the ship.
Watch out there, Rex! <laughs> Let's end this swift. the plan. Leave the vanguard to me. I'm gonna do it properly. Open wide. Nia, take them down. I'll On smack it. them into the middle of next week. Great. Over to you, Rex. You Burn burned it. my heart. Burn. Good. Back. Rogue, you will not fall here, my dead body. Blaze! Nah, 
could ask for. Let's give him hell! Ready? Ready.
fight. Who's that? You fight on, relentlessly. But you do not fight for yourself. I fight for my friends. Yeah! I have been waiting for so long. For one such as you. My name is Adam. I am long departed from this world. That voice... Before. What is your name, boy? Rex. I've been here before. This is Elysium. Pyra was standing under that tree. Over there. She looked... lonely. Is that so? I must offer my gratitude. Hey? You are the one who brought me here. I have never been to this place. Once I sought to come here, but I never did. Oh, really? Neither have I. Not... not yet. It is beautiful. Yeah. Rex, what is it that you seek? Wealth? Power? Dominion? Ah... Uh, none of those, really. Though... Power might be useful. Power, then? Power to protect. Protect what? That's a long list. Gramps, Mia, Tora, everyone in Fonset, and Pyra and Mithra. You are greedy, boy. Everyone in Argentum used to tell me that. It is not necessary to protect everything. There is a limit to what one man can do. That's true. But there is something granted to you especially. Please, tell me what it is. The power to accept her. She is afraid of her own power and her terrible destiny. And I too was afraid. I feared the true power of the Aegis. Hmm. Your will to fight comes from your will to protect. Blades and mortals are linked. When you take on the weight of all the fear she carries, then you will be her true driver. Rex? Rex? What happened? You haven't said anything since the ghost disappeared. Yeah. I'm fine. Never better. That's... The third sword.
The Aegis Sword. Why? Why did Sword break? Perhaps it was just down here too long. You're bloody kidding me, right? After we trudged all the way down here? It's okay. How can it be okay? Pyra's one true sword just broke. This was never about the sword. We have everything we need. Huh? I know now what I have to do. Let's go. We've got rescuing to do. Rex, look. Nia, do you trust me? Yeah, but... You've realized something, haven't you, Rex? Something important that the rest of us can't see. I'm with you. I've seen that look in your eyes before. If I may. I could have sworn, in my experience, thought that Nia was a blade too. Why didn't you tell us, Nia? I just didn't, okay? No, it's not okay. <sighs> you lot really are just children, aren't you? Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand one day. Hey, you know, me, Rex, Nia, we've all got some kind of deep blade connection going on with us, haven't we? To tell the truth, I am a little envious, Lady Morag. You know, I'm sure it could be arranged. Would it leave a scar? That's kind of part of the bargain. In that case, maybe not. No, that's not what I meant. It's just... Oh. Relax. Much as I appreciate the sentiment, I wouldn't want you to harm yourself. I am sorry. Anyway, what do we do now? It's all well and good that we escaped, but we've got nothing to show for it. Don't worry. I know where we have to go. Are you sure, Rex? You know Pyra's location? I think so. Near the World Tree. I see a rotting titan. She's there. A rotting titan? Could it be? What is it? Morag knows such a place? Close by the world tree, against the side of the great void, I've heard there's a titan known as the Cliffs of Moritha. Moritha? That name sounds familiar. Lady Morag, 
There are tales, tales of a land of the dead, and the cliffs that lead into its depths. Yes, indeed. The land of Moritha, a place no living soul has ever witnessed. Well then. Mick, you here again? Is it passion or idiocy? Patroga. Just ask me out already. Piss off and die, Mick. Oh, I'm sure I'll get around to it one of these days. So, what are you doing anyway? You know, the Marsanis is the last torn in warship. I'm readying it for battle with non-mortal opponents. What are you talking about, non-mortal? <laughs> Surely you don't need me to tell you. You don't mean... <laughs> something wrong? Uh... Did you want something? Oh, uh, food's ready. Get it while it's hot. You came all the way here to tell me that? You've got quite the crush. Mick Kyle, I'm gonna crush your... Okay, got it. Well, I'd better go and eat this delicious spread. Mick? <laughs> 